Hello do-it-yourselfers, I'm Terry Peterman, the internet electrician. Welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics. Let's get started. So in this short video, we're going to take this T8 4 foot 2 tube fluorescent fixture and we're going to change the tubes out to these LED tubes from Fate Electric, just purchased at Costco. And we're going to see it says there's no rewiring needed, so we're going to ensure that these tubes work with this fixture and ballast as it's wired. And we're also going to see what kind of an energy savings we have from uh, changing two LED tubes from the T8 fluorescents. So let's get started here. So here's the four foot two tube fluorescent fixture on now. And I'm going to take it apart here so that we can get at the incoming hot wire. And I'll use my Fluke T1000 meter to measure the current that these four foot T8 tubes are drawing now, four of them. And then we'll replace them with the LED tubes from Fate Electric. And we'll see what kind of a current draw we have then. Depending on the manufacturer, all these fixtures are a little bit different in how you take them apart. But this one, the diffuser lens, you have to lift up then pull it away from one edge and then you can see it's kind of hooked on these hooks here the lip of the fixture and then lift off the diffuser lens set that aside and then remove the tubes so all four of these T8 tubes with the power off of course turn them 90 degrees so that the Pins release from the tube holders or tombstones as we call them in the trade. Set the tubes aside. Now the ballast housing. This one you have to pinch it together so it releases from the clips. There's three, three on each side. And that's how you take off the ballast cover. Now here's your four foot four tube T8 ballast. And here's the hot wire that I need to get my Fluke T1000 meter on. I have to reinstall the tubes and we'll see how much current this draws. So as you can see, I've got the tubes reinstalled in the tube holders or tombstones. And I've got that black feed wire pulled down so that I can get my Fluke T1000 ammeter on it. So I'll show you a close-up of that. I can't do it with the tubes on and actually show you the reading because the light, of course, washes out the reading that you'll see or anything that I'm trying to show you on the meter here. So there's the Fluke reading zero right now. And as you can see, it's set on amps. And that's AC amps. And now I'm going to turn the fixture on. And you won't be able to see the meter at that point. But I'm going to put it on that black loop you see hanging down there. All I have to do is put that wire through the forks here, through the amp probe forks, and it will give me a current draw with the existing four tubes in it, T8 tubes, fluorescent tubes. And as I said, you probably won't be able to see the reading on the ammeter. But I have 0.9 amps. 0.9 amps on AC current, 120 volts. So we'll switch out these tubes to the LED and then we'll see what, if any, current drop we have when we put in LED tubes. All right, again, I will put on the ammeter. I've got the four LED tubes installed and I'm going to check the current draw. 0.4 amps. So yeah, we've dropped the current flow in more than half, 0.4 as opposed to 0.9 amps with the T8 LED fluorescent tubes. I'm quite impressed. I was actually reluctant to try these LED tubes, thinking that you can't get much more energy efficient than the T8, but there's your proof. 0.4, I'm going to just take that, press the hold button, and I'll shut the power off so that you can actually see the meter and the reading. 
And there you have it, 0.4 amps as opposed to the 0.9 amps we had with the T8 tubes. Okay, I'm going to put everything back together and we're pretty much done. Alright, so I've got my tubes installed. First the ballast guard, of course, I had to remove the tubes first. Put the ballast guard back on, reinstall those LED tubes. So there is a warning on there that the, the, where the label is that should face up because the LED tubes are directional as opposed to the T8 fluorescents are not directional. So you want to make sure you install them to 90 degrees into the tube holders and then you turn them so that the label is up and the lens is facing down. And the old tubes, you dispose of them of course by dressing up in Star Wars costumes and putting on appropriate safety gear and, and using them as lightsabers. I digress, I'm just joking. Of course you want to take those tubes to a recycling depot, check with your local waste disposal authority as to what's the proper way to dispose of fluorescent tubes. But there you have it. I'm going to turn on this light and just show you how much light it provides. I dare say I wish I had a light meter, but I'm convinced that they're brighter and they use half the energy. So that may not seem like a whole lot with one fixture inside my garage here, but consider a gymnasium full of T8 fluorescent tubes and changing them out to LED and cutting that energy consumption in half. So well worth it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something useful from this video. My goal is to help you out with your small home electrical projects or minor repairs and to help you complete them both safely and competently. Please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And for more helpful information, visit my website at electrical-online.com. And if you'd like to learn more about home electrical, my program, The Basics of Household Wiring, is simply the best electrical educational information you will find. And it's available as a DVD or an instant download. I also use this information as the core material for my best-selling course at udemy.com called Learn the Basics of Household Wiring, the Electrical System A to Z. And of course, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. But what if you need help with something right away? I'm one of the experts on the Magnify app. That's Magnify with an I. You download the app and search for the internet electrician from your smartphone. You can get instant assistance. And I'm also a certified expert on the JustAnswer.com team. There are links below in the description here to everything that I've told you about. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Terry Peterman, the internet electrician.